What are you doing? What do you want? It's Friday, fool! And you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool, you need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and every Friday, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. As you know, I work extra hard to bring you guys tools that you may have never heard of, or that you've never used, or that you've never seen. It's hard sometimes, but I think this week is one of those. So I don't know how many episodes ago, but a while back I did the transfer punch. So basically these are center punches to transfer the center of a hole. So you basically find the punch that matches the size of hole that you want to find in the center of. You slide it down in there, you give it a tap, and it will mark a hole, it will punch a hole right in the center of the existing hole, of where the existing hole is. So you can make an exact transfer. This is, I guess that's why it's called the transfer punch. Anyway, if you didn't see this video, I'll put it right up here. It makes me think. How many of you guys, I want you to comment below, how many of you guys have seen every Friday full video? Every one. Either because you were watching from the beginning or because you started at like 25 and after about 10 of them, you're like, hell, I gotta go watch all of these things. So you went back to the very beginning and watched everything up till right now. I wanna know, put a comment in the comment section if you have seen every Friday Fool video. I know some of you guys, like marathon it. You got a job where you ain't working that hard and you just start at the beginning and you go all the way to the end. Anyway, back to the tool. So this week's tool is very similar to the transfer punch Except this one is designed to transfer a threaded part. Well, that sounds crazy. This week's tool is the Nielsen Transfer Screw. So, if you look real close, they are little transfer punches. Okay. But the punch itself is like the head of a bolt. So on the back side, it has threads. And you can basically, you can basically just take these things and screw them into something that is threaded and then transfer whatever that hole is to something else. So on the surface of things, you would probably think there's not much use for something like this or what would I use something like this for? These things are actually very useful. They will get you, they'll allow you to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. Let me show you an example. All right, so a very good example of where you could use these transfer screws is to say you're working on your hot rod. Is is say. Say you're working on your hot rod and you need to build a custom bracket. It's gonna come off the cylinder head, maybe to hold an alternator or a power steering pump or what, whatever custom blower bracket, whatever it is. And you need to basically mimic the pattern, the bolt pattern on the cylinder head itself. That's where these can come in very handy. You take one of these, actually take like three of these, you screw them into the front of the cylinder head here. All right now, so once you get these things just kind of snugged up, and they're different sizes, these two are the same size, this one here is a little larger. The thing that's nice though is the head of these transfer screws is all the same thickness. Then what you want to do is you want to take your bracket material. So whatever it is that you want to basically transfer this pattern onto in order to drill the holes. Most of the time it'd be some probably like half inch aluminum or some plate steel. All I had was this thick aluminum so this is what I'm going to use. I'm gonna show you how we can transfer that pattern directly to this plate. I'm just gonna slide this thing down in here. Just take a rubber mallet or something. Basically just give it a couple taps. 
And there you go. So you can see it's transferred one hole there, one hole there, one right there. You can see exactly how you can make short work of finding the exact bolt pattern, reference pattern, and the exact center of those holes in order to drill this and make a plate out of it. I'm sure there's a ton of other applications for these that you can probably think of. This is just the first one that came to my mind. And um, it definitely make your job easier and make your quality of work much better. All right guys, there you go. This week's tool, the transfer screw. These things are made right here in America. They're made by the Alexander Tool and Supply Company. The Alexander Tool and Supply Company is a family owned company. It's been around since 1937 and is veteran owned and operated. So go check these guys out. I will drop their website in the description. Go take a look at what they got. And uh, if you find these as useful as I did, get you some. As always, thank you for joining me. I'm sure I will see you some more this week. As a matter of fact, I've been slack, so I'm gonna try to do like a five day run next week. So stay tuned for that. And uh, it's Friday, fool.